Hello everyone, I'm Shannon, a staff writer for Finder, and today we're going to talk about Palantir's IPO, how you can buy shares, and what you need to know before you invest. On August 25th, Palantir filed an S-1 registration form with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. This form outlined its intention to list its stock on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol PLTR. But unlike many of the other initial public offerings up for grabs from its tech sector competitors, Palantir is offering its stock through a direct listing. What's a direct listing? It means that the Palantir shares that are going to be offered to the public won't be fresh stock. The stock Palantir plans to sell is actually being offered by existing private investors. Palantir's stock will go live on the New York Stock Exchange on Tuesday, September 29th. No investment is risk-free, and Palantir is no exception. Investors interested in this software firm should consider the following risks before making a purchase. First, Palantir isn't profitable. In 2018, it reported a net loss of $580 million on $595 million in revenue. In 2019, it reported a net loss of $579 million on $742 million in revenue. Palantir is reporting sizable revenue and sizable losses. While this is far from unheard of in the tech sector, investors should take a closer look at Palantir's balance sheet before they invest. Another risk? Multiple reports suggest that Palantir plans to lock up 80% of its shares. While we obviously can't speak for Palantir, we can comment on why companies have used lockup periods in the past. Lockup periods help prevent shareholders from flooding the market and destabilizing the price of the stock. They typically last between three and six months. Interested in investing in Palantir? You will need a brokerage account for a start. If you already have one, Great! And if not, you'll want to compare share trading platforms to find a brokerage company that best fits your investment goals and your experience level. So, you've got your brokerage account and you're ready to invest. Log into your trading platform and search for Palantir by company name or by ticker symbol PLTR. Once you've pinpointed the stock, you can purchase shares on the spot by entering a market order or you can use a limit order to delay your purchase until Palantir's stock reaches your preferred price. When you're ready, submit your order. And that's all there is to it. You're now a Palantir shareholder. You can read more about Palantir's IPO and compare your brokerage account options on finder.com. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you'll know when new Finder videos drop.